In this video, we're going to discuss um, a great new feature in the Alpha 5 uh, form editor, which allows you to select controls and put them in a library so that you can reuse them uh, when designing um, other new forms. So you can see here we have the uh, customer information form from Alpha Sports open in the uh, form editor. And what I'm going to do now is um, if you look on the uh, toolbox here, you'll see that there's a uh, category here called Control Library. And what I'm going to do now is go and add um, some controls to this uh, library. So let's go here now and uh, select those controls over there. And then right click and say Add Select Controls to the Control Library. And I'll just call it um, Name um, and address 2 and uh, I'll say field bindings which means that uh, when I place this um, uh, um, uh, library onto another form it's going to prompt for um, all of the fields in the um, in the library how they match up to the fields on the form that I'm pasting to so for example in this form the first name field is called first name but on another form, the first name field might just be called, say, F name. So uh, when you use the library, it'll let you select the uh, field bindings. And here you can go and you can customize the prompts uh, if you want, but we don't need to do that. And then finally, scale to fit. I'm going to turn that off, which means that when I place this uh, uh, control library on another form, it's going to be the exact same size that it is on this form. If I check this, then the uh, controls would scale to the box that I draw on the target form. So let's go ahead now and then click OK. And now uh, what happens is Alpha 5 actually shows me um, uh, the actual script, the code that it generated. So this is the code that it generated, um, which is just an XBasic um, uh, uh, class. Uh, but you don't really need to worry about what's in this class unless you're interested. So I'm going to just completely ignore this and just click the OK button and um, so now uh, you can see now I have two entries on my address uh, on my clip library and let's go now and add uh, one more entry over there so let's um, highlight that but um, let's go and unselect oh, sorry um, here we go and uh, So now I'll right click on this and say add and I'll just call it say a uh, header. So you can see now that there's no uh, prompt about um, um, binding because there were no f actual fields in this block over there. So now I've got uh, two entries in my uh, control library, uh, three entries sorry, and now let's go and uh, create a new form. So I'll go here and say, uh, I'll base it on the customer table and I'll create a blank form. And uh, now I'm going to go to my control library and let's start out with the header and I'll draw my header over there. So you can see now we've placed the header over there. Now let's go and uh, do our um, address block and place that over there and you can see now there's all the prompt for the field bindings now it turns out that in this case um, this, these uh, suggested field bindings are correct so I'll just go ahead now and click OK and you can see now we have basically placed the controls on the form so the clip library is um, a great way to store uh, reusable, reusable uh, uh, controls that you can copy from that you can use over and over again when you're building your forms. Now the clip library itself, if you right click, you can go to the um, um, Windows Explorer and you can see that uh, all of the um, um, library entries are stored in this folder here as Alpha 5 class files um, where you can actually edit them if you want uh, uh, to m modify their definition. Hope you found that useful. Thanks very much.